Ever caught yourself wondering how that can of tuna you enjoy was prepared? Well, it all starts at sea. As soon as the tuna is caught, it's immediately processed on board the fishing vessel. This process includes bleeding the fish to remove blood, gutting to eliminate internal organs, and in some instances, a quick steam pre-cooking session. These steps are crucial in maintaining the tuna's freshness. Once these steps are done, the tuna is quickly chilled or frozen to preserve its freshness. Now that the tuna is properly preserved, it's time for a journey to the cannery. This trip is crucial as it ensures the fish remains in its peak condition. Upon arrival, the tuna undergoes thorough quality checks. Experts assess the freshness, size, and overall quality of each catch. If the tuna was frozen, a careful thawing process kicks in, preparing it for the next steps. Every detail matters because quality is king here. With a thumbs up from quality control, our tuna is ready for the next stage, deboning and cooking. Cooking tuna for canning isn't like cooking for dinner. It's a precise process aiming for safety and shelf life. Once the frozen tuna thaws, it's time to debone. This process strips the fish down to boneless fillets or chunks ready for the next big step, cooking. But this isn't any ordinary cooking method. The deboned tuna undergoes a process called steam pressure cooking or steam baking in retorts. This method is essential for two main reasons. Firstly, it removes excess oils that could affect the tuna's shelf life. Secondly, and most importantly, steam baking sterilizes the fish, eliminating harmful bacteria that could pose a risk to our health. After this rigorous process, the cooked tuna doesn't just go straight into the can, it's carefully inspected and any pieces that didn't quite make the cut, be it due to damage or inferior quality, are discarded. After cooking, the tuna is sorted for canning with any damaged or subpar pieces discarded. Now, the cooked tuna is ready for its final destination, the can. But first, it's sorted into categories based on the desired canned product. We're talking solid white tuna, chunk light tuna, and others. Once categorized, it's time for the canning process. Canning is more than just stuffing fish into a metal container. It's an art. Each can is filled with the perfectly cooked tuna, accompanied by a chosen medium. This could be a brine, water and salt solution, or oil, all meticulously measured for the perfect balance. Then the real magic happens, the cans are sealed. This isn't just to keep the tuna fresh, it's to create a barrier, keeping the outside world at bay. With the cans sealed, it's time for the final cooking process, heat sterilization. Heat sterilization is a crucial step in the canning process. Sealed cans are exposed to high temperatures, annihilating any lingering bacteria or microorganisms. This is followed by a swift cooling phase to maintain the quality of the tuna. Now that the tuna is safely canned and cooled, it's time for the final touches, labeling and packaging. Labeling and packaging are the final steps before our canned tuna hits the market. Each can is labeled with essential information, such as the product's name, expiration date, nutritional content, and branding. After labeling, cans are carefully packed into cartons or boxes for shipping and distribution, but before the canned tuna leaves the factory, there's one last step, quality control. Quality control is a continuous process, ensuring you get the best canned tuna. Strict measures are implemented throughout production with samples regularly pulled for testing and analysis. This rigorous routine ensures product safety and quality. With quality control giving the green light, our canned tuna is ready for distribution. Our journey with the tuna ends here, but for the canned tuna, it's just the beginning now with labels and packaging complete. These cans are ready to hit the shelves of retail stores and markets, reaching seafood lovers far and wide. While the popularity of canned tuna has seen some ebb and flow, it once held the title of America's most popular seafood for a half century, from 1950 to 2000. And we're seeing a resurgence. The market for canned tuna is forecast to experience a growth spurt, with revenues expected to rise from $8.57 billion in 2020 to $11.89 billion by 2027. Next time you open a can of tuna, remember the journey it's been on. It's a process of precision, care, and quality control, all to bring you that delicious and convenient seafood you love.